Hi, it's Case, and I am very excited to be making this video today. In this video, I'm going to be walking through step-by-step -step everything involved in making an e-commerce website yourself. So in this video, we're going to be using the e-commerce platform called Shopify. Um, Shopify is a company that makes it incredibly easy for your typical person to make an e-commerce website themselves. Um, they're a very cool company. I don't, I don't know if you've heard of the show called Shark Tank, um, but a lot of the businesses that have gone on to Shark Tank to pitch to investors have actually been using Shopify to power their online store, which I think is very, very cool. Um, to be able to use the same platform as some very, very successful businesses out there. And really, the dashboard and how we're going to be making this website is very, very easy to do. Really, almost a little bit easier than WordPress, actually, uh, which is something to say. So everything involved in getting our online store set up today, I'm going to walk through. I'm going to show you how to add your own custom, unique logo how to add a, a good-looking homepage image here with also the possibility of adding slider images so you can have a couple different images rotating here. I'm going to show you how to add some of your featured products onto your homepage here. I'm of course going to show you how to add products onto your website, how to price your products, how to um, set your products on sale, depending on the type of product that you're selling. I'm going to show you how to be able to sell different sizes of a product or different colors of a product. I'm going to show you how to add social media icons so your visitors can come to your product pages and tweet them out to their friends or Facebook their friends. Um, everything involved in setting this up. Um, this platform is, is very, very easy to do and to use. Um, I definitely did want to make a video today to show you um, a little bit more on how to do this with them. So we're going to walk through making an About Us page. Um, here are some great pointers on what some successful companies use for their About Us page. I'm going to show you how to create a blog for your website, which I think is very, very important to have. So. Let's get started. The first thing that we're going to want to do is go to Shopify.com and sign up for a free 14-day trial. Um, now, I do appreciate it if you're going to sign up for the free trial that you do click uh, my link below in the description. Shopify does give me credit for referrals, um, and this allows me to also help you out through the process yourself. So let's get started. I'm going to go over to Shopify.com. And we're going to want to enter in our email and a password and also a store name. And of course, we can always come back and change our store name too. So I've already signed up for a free trial. I will be starting from scratch building this online store with you today. Okay, now after you hit Try Shopify for free, you should see this page. And here Shopify is asking us where we'd like to sell our products. Would we like to create an online store? Or would we like to use their, their services for our brick and mortar retail store? So what's cool about Shopify is they also provide a payment solution for a brick and mortar business. So say you have an iPad or an iPhone in your store, they provide you some services and solutions to be able to accept payments on your iPad um, in your in the, your store, which is pretty cool. Uh, but in this video, I'm just showing you how to use an online store and get an online store set up with them. So let's enter in our information here. This is not my real retail store address. Um, here, they're just trying to get some information from us. Um, really doesn't matter what we say here. I'm just gonna I'm just playing around. What will you sell? With Shopify, we can we can sell our services, we can sell digital products, or we can sell physical products. Um, we will sell physical products. 
and take me to my store. So here we are into our dashboard. So this is going to be the back end of our online store. This is where we're going to do all of our editing and everything in, involved in making our online store look attractive. Um, and we'll also see if we just come up here and we delete admin and just go to the store name that we set up, .myshopify.com. This is the default Shopify e-commerce theme that we're provided uh, right away when we sign up, uh, which is a great theme. Um, there's, of course, a lot of themes in Shopify that we can choose from. There's several hundred themes we can choose from. They have several free themes. They have themes that are $20 up to a couple hundred dollars. Um, I also want to say this is pretty great. Um, we, we are going to go back after the free trial is over to actually register our own custom domain name. So whether it be myonlinestore.com or uh, my t shirt shop.com, my services.com. Um, but this is a great kind of practice 14 day free trial to get our store set up the way we want before we actually launch it to the public. <clears throat> but let's see, the first thing we want to do here is we want to go ahead and grab a custom theme for our website. So we want to change the look and feel behind our website. Um, so this is what we reviewed. We're going to make that from scratch here. So I haven't done anything here yet. Um, so we'll want to click visit the theme store. And let's choose a theme. So as you'll see, there are a lot of themes. This one's $140. This one's free. This is the one that I'm actually using. Minimal. I like this theme because it's very simplistic in feel. But you'll see here there are several themes. 180 a lot of themes here. So, and like I said, Shopify specializes in e-commerce, so they really, really know what they're doing there. So I'm going to click on this theme. I also want to note before we get started customizing this website that after your free 14-day trial is over, um, I think that they charge $29 a month. So this is more of a premium service for online stores, but is very well worth it in my opinion if you are serious about getting started selling online. So let's go ahead and get this theme. So I'm going to click Get Theme, and we will click Publish as my shop's theme. And then let's go to our theme manager. So here we are in our dashboard again. Uh, we will go to our left menu here and let's click on dashboard. And let's click continue editing here. So we're going to start editing this theme that we have installed on our website. Let's go to our live site here and see the theme that we have just installed here. So here we can see that the theme that we've just installed has absolutely changed the look and feel of our website. So here's where we're going to put our cover image um, with a slider possib possibly, also some featured products here. So here's what we're going to be editing today, which is pretty cool. So let's go back to our dashboard here. And let's kind of start optimizing and tweaking the website how we would like it to look. Um, let's see, no background image. Uh, we can upload a different image for our background. Right now it's just white. Uh, we can, for instance, use this background image that they give us. Then we'll hit save up here on the top right. And go back and let's refresh and see kind of how that's changed. So that background image didn't change this theme that much. We can kind of see a little hint in the background. Uh, we'll keep it now. Since I'm making this kind of just to serve as an example for you to show you um, how this e-commerce platform works and uh, 
like I've said many times, it's, it's very easy to use. So right here, um, these colors here, these change some of the fonts on the website. So for instance, navigation here, we can see navigation link color, and it's kind of grayish. If we have our live site pulled up here, we can see that that changes the font of these. So if we want to change these from gray to red or something, um, here is where we do that. Uh, for instance, hover color. If you hover it, it turns black from gray. So very easy to change. Um, you can turn it to red or whatever you would like. Um, let's keep going down. Those aren't really that important, but it's good to know where they are if you want to change them. Um, typography, so you can change the font that is on your website here. So that is right there. There's no need to do, of course, any coding or anything. This is all very simple. Um, header, here's where we can add a custom logo. So we can get rid of this Case Gilbreth 2 and add our own unique logo here. So let's do that. Use a custom logo. Let's choose a file here. Um, there are so many different logo design companies out there. If you just do a very simple Google search, there'll be several companies that come up anywhere from $5 to $40 or so. A company can design a unique logo for you. Um, since I'm doing this to kind of serve it as an example, I've just very simply uh, created a, well, opened up a PowerPoint document and just typed in a little bit of text and then just very simply taken a screenshot of the text and uploaded that as my logo. Um, so we have our logo there. Let's keep on moving down here. Um, footer, so right here, this says quick links. If we go to the bottom of our website, we can see that this it right here is titled quick links. We can name that something else. We can name that resources or whatever we'd like to name that. Uh, let's see. Social media icons. So we can add our company's Twitter, our company's Facebook, our company's Google Plus and YouTube um, in this section here. And that will change the links that we have on the bottom of our website. So that's pretty important to do. Change those links. Um, let's keep moving down. Go to our home page. And here is where we will add a home page image. So it's very important to know whatever theme that you install in Shopify that you go by their recommendations in terms of what size the image should be before you upload it. So they're recommending that you upload a, an image that's 966 pixels by 400 pixels. <clears throat> So for this, I always use the service called Pixlr. So maybe you already have some photos on your computer or you're going to go grab some photos from iStockphoto.com or Shutterstock.com to grab some photos. Um, but once you have a photo that you'd like to have on your homepage, I can show you very simply here. If we just go to Browse. Now I've already done this, um, but just to kind of serve as an, as an example, Let's open an image here, and we can simply go down to Adjustment right here, and then click on Resize. And we can resize an image to whatever we need to resize it to. Once we hit Apply, then we can save that image to our computer. So if you don't already know about this resource, it's a very good resource to use. Again, that's called Pixlr.com, P-I-X-L-R. Com. So let's go back. I have already resized an image here. Um, I'm making a, an example shoe store. So I have added that image. Um, let's click save. take a second because that's kind of a, a larger image so that has been saved let's go back to our site let's refresh 
and we can see that the image, this image is, is exactly what they recommended um, here. So we can also add another image here. So we have a couple rotating slider images on our homepage, or we can go back into our dashboard and disenable the slideshow. So we do not want a slideshow, then we click save, and we'll only have this one image showing up. So that is that. Let's keep going down here. And now we can add some featured products. They call them promo images. So these three spots here we need to fill with pictures for our website. And again, they're recommending 302 pixels by 200 pixels. I have already prepared a few images here. I'm going to choose them now. So get that one. And then grab another one. Open. Another one. And one third one. So there it is. And let's hit save in the upper right corner. That has been saved. So let's go back to our website. Let's refresh. And we can see those three images have been added here. So I think this is really a getting to be a very good looking website. We can see that these images will also click to our product page, but we also need to add products to this page before they show up. So let's go ahead and do that now. We will want to go to our left menu and click on products and let's click on add a product so we can really title these products whatever we'd like uh, i can title this kind of blue new balance i can write as a de description for the product this is a traditional new balance shoe and here it's under type this is where this theme is going to allow us to categorize the different products that we have. So say that you're selling t-shirts, you're selling coats, you're selling shoes. You want to be able to categorize your different products. So you can click on shoes on your website and all of your products categorized under shoes show up. So let me categorize that as shoes. Vendor, if it is a brand name product, then you can create also a category here. And here is where we can price our products. So I can say that product's at $59.99. And you can pair that to $64.99. Now, if you have an SKU and also a barcode, Shopify has a really great uh, reporting system, really much better than other e-commerce platforms I've seen out there, which really allows you to track your inventory very well. So you want to write those units down here. You want to charge taxes. If you're selling physical products, you'll want to require a shipping address from your customers. Um, then we, of course, want to wait here. I'm going to put two pounds. And in order to use Shopify's reporting system, you want to see Shopify tracks this product's inventory. And you can select if you want to allow users to purchase the item even though it's no, no longer in stock. And here's where we can click that this product does have multiple options because we offer different sizes of the product. So for instance, size or material, style, color, shoes, I'm just going to do size. Let me delete this. I'm going to hit 7, 8, 9, 10 comma, 11, comma, 12. And those are the different sizes of shoes that we have in inventory. And we do want to have a product image as well. Let's upload that. And then I'm going to tag this New Balance. Just so again, for instance, if, you have, if you're going to install a search bar on your website, 
Um, and for instance, if a customer comes to your site and searches New Balance, by providing a tag here, your website will know to show this shoe once New Balance is searched on your website. And this is important here under search engines. So you want to include um, what the product is here. So Google knows if someone goes to Google and they search, for instance, blue New Balance, this way you're telling Google that your website has this product on your website. And it makes your ranking go up in Google. And then let's hit save. This product has been created. Let's check on our live site. And we can see that we have added a product here. So let's click on our product. And we can see that we now have the option to order different sizes of our product and add that to our cart. And you'll see that our social media widgets are here too. So if a visitor comes to your website, they can Facebook or tweet out this product to their friends. We can add this to cart. Um, here if we click update and then we can click checkout, we'll get an error here because we have not yet gotten to that point in the video where I'm going to show you how to add your bank account information. So let's go back here. Let's add one more product. So we can kind of start to get the hang of how this is working a little bit better. So let's add another product. Title of this new, new balance. This is the newest new balance we have in stock. Again, we've created the category of shoes and also new balance. So we will keep those there. This is going to be a little bit higher priced. 79.99 down from 84.99. Again, you'll want to include your SKUs and your barcodes right here. Charge taxes. We need a shipping address to ship this physical product. The weight is two pounds. We'd want, we do want Shopify to track the inventory. And this product also has multiple options. So size and again, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Let's add an image here. So this is the newest shoe. Let's add that. And again, let's tag this new balance. And let's save. All right, let's go to our catalog product page. And we can see that a new product has been added here which is pretty cool. So I hope you're getting in the hang of how you can add products onto your website. Let's keep on moving here. And I just kind of want to go through the menu here that in the left menu here and show you all of the different functionalities that Shopify can provide you because it really is pretty cool. <clears throat> so here's part of their reporting systems here. Here's abandoned checkouts. For instance, you can see how many people will create a shopping cart with you and add products into that shopping cart on your website, but they don't pay, they leave. You can see um, how many times that happens here, and you can try to come up with the different ways to fix that problem. Here's where you'll see the different orders that are coming up, customers. If you have a customer list, you can import that file directly into your Shopify dashboard here. Now products, you can see how many products you have in stock here. You can manage your inventory. You can update how much inventory you have with different products and different sizes here. Uh, let's click on collections. discounts. So here we can create coupon codes. So we'll add a discount. So if we just click on generate code, this is the unique code that's been generated for our website. We can set 
what kind of discount they'll get when a customer enters in that code. Um, so Shopify realizes that a lot of times your customers are going to Google your company name followed by coupon code. And this allows you your website to come up a little bit higher here. So for instance, we can take 15% off of an order, off all orders over, say, $65. And then we'll save that. Gift cards. So different plans that Shopify offers after your 14 day trial expires um, allow different things. One of their plans, a bit, a bit higher I think than the $29 a month plan, allows you to sell gift cards for your company. And this allows you to make custom unique reports for your company. So you can create a report that tells you how many sales have been generated by month, where your customers are coming from, what areas you're shipping to, and really track your inventory, track what kind of payment methods you've been using. Blog posts, this is very easy. It's very important to have a blog on your website add a blog post to keep your customers informed on the type of products that you're selling. This is also very good for Google. If you are selling a lot of New Balance shoes, it's a good idea to write blog posts based on the new types of New Balance shoes that you have so that Google can pick up um, the fact that you are writing a lot about New Balance on your, on your website. Pages. Here's our About Us page, and our About Us page is, is right here. It's, of course, a good idea to have an About Us page. Um, and Shopify gives you some great examples of what some successful businesses write on their About Us page, who you are. So all we have to do is just update this, write this here. Um, go back, welcome here. You'll see a welcome on our homepage. So we can write welcome, congratulations. Um, really just write a little bit about your company and what your company has to offer its visitors. So it's a good idea to have like a great selling point for your visitors, especially on your homepage. Here's our navigation. So we can pick and choose what we would like to show in our navigation. So for instance, let's say you want about us to be the page right after home. If you would like that, then you would just drag about us here. Let's go back and save. It's just as simple as that. that so that is pretty cool, I think. I'm gonna take about us back over and then it's saved already again. Um, themes here domains. So here, after, after your free trial is up and you have built a good looking online store that you're proud of, you can come here and you can buy your domain name. So we'll come here, you click buy domain, um, anything .com or .co, you'll see all the different kinds of domains that they offer. I think this is actually a pretty decent price. Usually domain names are about $15 per one year and they're offering a .com for $9 a year. So that is nice. Here is your account. Um, so we can see if we click on change account type. Here is the, the cheapest plan that they do offer after 14 days is up is $29 a month. And you can see they go all the way up to $179 a month. And you can see that the, the rate that they get off of the credit cards goes down as the, the plan goes up. Um, let's see here. Check out. So here is where we can set up our payment information, which is clearly one of the most important parts of getting an online store set up. And one of the best uh, things about going with Shopify, how it's really an all-inclusive e-commerce shopping cart website where they provide all of this for you. <clears throat> so using Shopify payments, 
can accept credit cards directly through Shopify. We need to uh, set up our account with them in order to do that. So if you're a business type, whether you're an LLC, corporation, your tax ID, business name, and here's where you put your banking information. Once you do that, you complete your account setup, and then you have the ability to accept credit card payments directly through your website, um, which in my experience, this is a very, very easier process than going through third parties to do it. So and here is where you can set up your shipping rates. So yeah, it really all is here. Um, the next thing I want to show you is kind of the community that you get by going with Shopify. So for instance, if we just go to shopify.com, um, you'll see that they provide so many different resources to help you get your website going and give you advice and tips to maintain your online store and sales. So they really do have a lot of knowledge there, especially since they're completely focused in e-commerce. So for instance, we can documentation here, can search different um, topics that you may need help with, um, support here. So they have really a forum here that answers a lot of general questions um, and experts. They have a great Shopify community of, expert, of experts that uh, are very, very knowledgeable with Shopify. So you can find experts directly through them that will help you out with your store. Um, so that is that. I hope this video has given you a, a pretty good understanding of how you can get set up with your online store using really the all-inclusive e-commerce platform of Shopify. Um, so if you do have any questions, I am here to help you um, get started with your store. So please do answer or ask questions below in this video, or also please do email me at case.gilbreth at yahoo.com. I'm really glad to help.